evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means... I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Sam! It's almost time for dinner. Dinner? Oh, boy. I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. I don't think that was me. gonna cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's gotta stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Hello, everybody! My name is Carfarty, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. We're continuing the Humongous Entertainment series with the third Pajama Sam game. Pajama Sam free! Hype! This is, honestly, I've got to say, Pajama Sam is possibly the most consistently great Humongous Entertainment series. That and Spy Fox, like all of I the games. I wonder where my Pajama Sam cape is. I can't do any superheroing without my cape. Yes, Sam, I'll get to that. I was going to say, like, the free Pajama Sam games and the free Spy Fox games are all really good. Whereas, like, Freddy Fish, you have, like, occasionally you got the game that's, like, maybe it's not quite as good, or Putt-Putt. But the, the free Pajama Sam games are all really solid, and it's kind of hard to pick which one is my favorite, because just all of them are so good and high quality. Spoiler alert, Pajama Sam 1 is my favorite. And before... No, my keep is around here somewhere. And I can already hear people in the audience being like, well, Artie, there were actually four Pajama Sam games. No, you're mistaken, there were only three. Anyhow... The, sure I, left I know, Sam. Just please. I, I've played this game before. So we got to start the game as usual. We got to find Sam's cape because otherwise he won't be Pajama Sam. Oh, it looks like he actually has a, a game console, which is pretty good. Uh, it was one of those cookies that ran off on me. So we're off to a strong start. Pajama Sam was eating cookies. And it's very hard work, apparently. And now he has to find them. But first, he has to get his cape. Those cookies left a trail of crumbs. As soon as I find my cape, I can follow them. Yeah, okay, well. The cape can be in a lot of different places. Let's check this cupboard. Rats. Nothing in here. All right, well, let's check the drawer above it. Rats. Nothing in here. I believe there are four different places it can be. It can be in one of those cupboards, it can be behind the frame here, or it can be behind the couch. Or in the fern. Aha! All right, cookies. Your dinner spoiling days are over. Pajama Sam is on his way. Aw, yeah. So now we are officially Pajama Sam, the famous superhero. And now we can put a stop to those evil cookies. This is highly compelling. I, I can't wait to start. But first off, we, as usual, Humongous Entertainment Games love putting Easter eggs in when you click around on the different things. And rarely do they disappoint. Except that they're kind of disappointed in this. Wait. Okay, well, that was a little disappointing, I guess. Let's go to the kitchen and st put a stop to those cookies. Pantry, of course. <laughs> Hello, is somebody there? <laughs> Nobody here but us potatoes. <laughs> All right, cookies. I know you're in here. <laughs> what? Hey, that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking me? What?
a party! And just like the other Pajama Sam games, we get teleported from our ordinary house into a land of wonder and fancy. And this work I love this game because we get teleported to a land filled with food. Yeah. So this is Pajama Sam Free. You are what you eat from your head to your feet, which is a very catchy, if kind of long title. Yeah, we're all- this game's all about food, which is really cool. So we're in this, like, sweet party area of all these- all this junk food dancing around, which is awesome. Also, there is a collectible in this game. In Pajama Sam 1, the collectible were the socks that you had to pair up. In the second Pajama Sam game, you had to collect puzzle pieces. In this one, we have to collect box tops, as referenced at the beginning of the game. And there's a box top in this room that if you don't get it, you can't get it for the rest of the game, because once we leave this room, we can never come back. It's right up here in this corner. Oh boy, a box top! If I can find 20 of these, I can get a Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. Aw, heck yeah! So we have one out of 20 box tops. That one, I believe that is the only box top in the game that is guaranteed to appear every single time. A lot of the other box tops, like, they might appear or they might appear elsewhere. There's a set amount of locations they can go to. So, let's, let's talk to some of the people here. Hey, bro. What's up, Ice Cream? Great party. Yep. Now, this is a party I can get behind. I normally don't like dancing, but I could get down to dance at this party. Hey, Hot Dog, what's up? I'm here. Of course, otherwise you wouldn't be here, right? Everyone's having a great time. Oh, man, we've got an Oreo dancing with a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and now Sam's cutting in between them. <laughs> Way to be a third wheel, Sam. We've got like a Dorito and a peppermint stick and a lollipop. Now he's just doing the same thing, eh? Pineapples? Get those out of here! This is a dessert party! <laughs> Asparagus? No, 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 no. This party is all about sweets and junk food. We get, No, get those out of here. Okay, yeah. You can't beat the default, right? Hey, Popsicle. <laughs> Man, Sam's got the dance moves. Got, like, a peppermint with legs? That's a little weird. Oh, you've got a little... <laughs> you've got a chicken finger down at the bottom. Oh, man. This is all the stuff that I want at a party, I know that. Junk food. Aw, <laughs> yeah. There's also all this food we can eat. Okay, well, let's start with the savory stuff. Sam so will say different stuff if you eat this as well. Giblets are my favorite! Yep, that's a bowl filled with cheese giblets. Do you remember those from Pajama Sam 2 that you can get them from the vending machine? Sam's snack of choice. We also have these, I think these are candy sticks. Let's try one of these. Mm, great! I can't tell if he said great or grape. It did look like a grape flavored candy stick that he ate. Cookies! No party can be complete without cookies. Maybe those cookies came with box tops! <laughs> Sam's like, hey, um, it, it, like, there's somebody, like, making all this food, right? Oh, yeah, they're in the back. Uh, do you think I could, like, have any of the box tops from the cookies? Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> they don't really care. Also, it's a little weird that you've got sentient food with food at the party. I guess that, well, I guess there's food and, there's sentient food and non-sentient food. And the sentient food has no problem eating the non-sentient food. Don't think about it too hard. I wonder if you'd still call them brownies if you made them a different color. Well, what's up with this party? We've got this nice little banner here. Welcome, Sam. What's this all about? Wow, is this party for me? I think you spelled my name wrong. How's that? On the sign, Sam should only have one S. Oh, that? Oh, that's S-S-A-M. It stands for Snacks and Sweets Aggressive Majority. Oh. <laughs> they, they also don't like the asparagus. They told it to get out, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, man, the parties should not have, like, veg veg <laughs> veggies. They were sick of going to parties and people bringing those veggie trays with, like, the cauliflower. Like, who likes cauliflower? Let's be honest. Like, you cauliflower and, like, tomatoes, celery, and carrots, and then, like, the ranch dipping. I am very un-American in that I don't like ranch at all. I, appreci I, I appreciate it for what it is, and I'm glad that there are people out there who like it. I just personally couldn't care less for it. 
<laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, man. One of the trickiest parts of doing humongous entertainment Let's Plays is figuring out what to make the thumbnails, because there are so many good options. Well, it looks like the exit is barred by this giant piece of cake. <laughs> this looks like a job for Pajama Sam! Wow! I can't believe I ate the whole thing. You ate it, Sam. Yes! <laughs> he ate a piece of cake that was like 10 times his own size. That's impressive. But Jim and Sam is on the job! <laughs> Literally, if that job involves eating cake, that is. Do they say different things now if we talk to them? How long is this party gonna go on? It's a political party. It goes on forever! Wow! <laughs> oh, that's a clever pun. <laughs> That's actually very clever. That was I ever never clicked on him a second time, or I, that just went completely over my head as a kid. Where do they get all this food? At the store, I think. I like how everyone's just having a good time, you know? I like this music. Yeah, but I'm not much of a dancer. Oh, yeah. The music that plays here with the lyrics is actually really good. Been here long? Uh, just a few weeks. Wow. Because <laughs> it's a political party. It's not like a birthday party or anything like that. No, a political party. They're there forever. <laughs> like, literally. All right. Well, this party's pretty... Oh, wait. Actually, now that we've eaten the giant cake, if you start eating the food again, you actually get different reactions. Usually, I really like these. Usually, but Sam's a little full, but that won't stop him. He's gonna keep eating. Licorice. Oh. Is that a licorice flavor candy stick, or is, are these actually licorice? Or maybe Sam just doesn't like it anymore because he ate 10 pounds of cake. I should probably get out of here soon. <laughs> Sam's like, please make me, please stop making me eat everything. I wonder if I should stop eating this stuff. It's okay, Sam. This is imaginary candy, so we don't have to. All right. Well, it looks like they're just going to be hanging out here at this political convention for a while, so let's just let's just discreetly leave. <clears throat> well, um, thanks, everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner time, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. My mom made all that broccoli? <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah! Jail! Jail! Uh, that's not good. You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Ouch, that's steep. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. La 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 la. <laughs> I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. Well, um, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Tell it to the fudge is one of the best puns in the whole game, I'll be honest. <laughs> Yeah, apparently they didn't like what we said, so we're now in gingerbread jail from the looks of it. And hey, there's a sentient piece of broccoli here. <laughs> you kind of stand out. You're the you're the only healthy food here. What's up? My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. Hmm. All right, well, let's talk to her a little more. How come you're in here, Florette? Do you not want to spoil your dinner, too? I'm one of the delegates to the big peace conference at the Food Pyramid. Peace conference? Yes. Delegates from all the food groups are supposed to get together to work out our differences. I represent the vegetables. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Also, this is the one other room where there can be a box top that spawns right up there. That if you don't get it now, you're uh, you're locked out of it for the rest of the game. So make sure you grab it if it if it appears here. 
I don't think it always does appear here. But just check if it does. So that way you won't miss it. Because again, you can't get back to the jail or the party after you leave. What's on the calendar? Cake. We have cupcakes. More cupcakes. I'm just waiting for Fatty Bear to appear on here. Cheesecake. My sister Marty's drooling now. Hot dog. Crew with a creepy face. Let's leave it on the cheese... No, not the cheesecake. Cheesecake is kind of meh. We'll leave it on the cupcakes because I'm default, man. Alright, I don't see what you being a... What did you call it? Peace delegate? Right. What does that have to do with you being in jail? Those sweets locked me up in here because they don't want the peace conference to happen. I had no idea that sweets were so mean. They're not all like that. It's mostly just this one group. Sometimes, when you get a lot of them together, they get a little crazy. <laughs> That's funny. My mom says the same thing about my big brother and his friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I forgot about a lot of the dialogue in here. One, one thing that's really cool about this game, like, it has kind of a sophisticated plot with, like, the political party and, like, the peace conference. But, like, so it's, it's advanced enough that, like, the adults are like, huh, that's kind of interesting. But it's also simple, told simply enough that even, like, little kids can get the gist of what's going on. But it, it makes for a lot of very interesting humor. <laughs> All right, well, the key's over there. The key will open the cell door. I mean, Sam, you can, you can, I would, well, I would say Sam could probably squeeze through the bars, except he did just eat 100 pounds of cake. So, actually, probably he can't. Sorry about that, Sam. Hey, Bonbon. Bon. Hey, Bonbon. I like those. That was weird. Why did it cut off the end of what he just... Hmm. That's weird. I've already got a Bonbon. Bon. Milady, would you like a Bonbon? You bon? like a Bonbon? Bon? No, thank you. I'm not really hungry. Are you sure you wouldn't like a Bonbon? Bon? No, thank you. Honestly, I'm not hungry. All right. What's wrong with you? <laughs> really got to get out of here. You need to get to your peace conference, and I've got to be home in time for dinner. How are we going to get out? Never fear. A Jim of Sam is here. I'll get us out of here. <laughs> it was nice of them to just give us this giant pile of bonbons to eat. Then again, <laughs> also, we're, they're suppo we're supposed to be in here for a month, and probably no one's going to leave the party in order to replenish the food supply. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder what Pajama Man would do in a situation like this. We'd probably get out his Pajama Man super power vac and vacuum everything up. Also, Sam, you could probably eat your way out of the bars. You might have to lick these for a while, but you can do it. But what you're actually supposed to do is throw the bon a bon at the key. Yes! Honestly, yeah, that's a that's an impressive shot, Sam. I don't think I could do that. Then again, he also has an unlimited supply left. <laughs> Even after 100 pounds of cake, he's still hungry for bonbons. I, I hear you, Sam. I always have room for bonbons. So this puzzle can actually be a little bit tricky. Uh, if you'll see, there's this part of the cell is actually cracked a little bit. Let's try pulling at it. Hey, I think this is... Uh, oops, gee, I didn't mean to break anything. Well, maybe this will come in handy. Look at this giant candy cane that we can put into our pocket. Cape pocket? I don't really know. So one kind of unintuitive thing is the key is all the way over here. You would think that the candy cane wouldn't be long enough to be able to reach it, because we saw how big it was with proportion. But no, it's it's long enough. All of a sudden, the key is a lot closer. I got the key! I think maybe I deserve a reward. Jeez, Sam! <laughs> Stop eating everything! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I know that Sam has always had a big appetite, but like seriously, he's eaten a hundred pounds of cake, he's eaten a, a whole, bu whole bunch of cookies before our adventure even started, then he ate a bunch of snacks there, he had a bonbon, and then he just ate another candy cane, like what the heck? 
don't eat the bro. Well, no, that's okay. He's Sam's a kid. He wouldn't voluntarily eat the broccoli. <laughs> Besides, she's also sentient, so I don't think he would eat sentient food. All right. Well, now we got the key. Let's get out of here. Hooray! It's open. Sam, you did it. Quick, let's get out of here before they come back. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Sweet troops. Uh-oh. Le gasp. We'd better not let them see us. I've got to get to that peace conference at the food pyramid as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam. You're a real hero. See you later. Gee. <laughs> Oh yes, Sam. Those you gotta. Those troops shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> oh, there are there are blue foods, Sam, but um, they're few and far between. <laughs> wow, Sam just got a kiss from the female piece of broccoli. <laughs> what a champ! All right, well we've got two ways to go, but there are a bunch of um rolls of Smarties this way. I'm not going over there with all those soldiers around. All right. Well, there's a box Here's top here. Another box top. Oh yeah, three. So I think back here at least. Can't go back to jail. I've got more important stuff to do. Yeah, as far as I can tell, you. for dinner. <laughs> as far as I can tell, you can never actually go back to jail. But it's cool that they actually included the path here just to show that's where you came from. So that leads over to the jail. We can't go this way, so I guess we'll have to go this way. Hey, towards the giant food pyramid. There's a lot of clever, clever puns in this. The food pyramid being one of them. Wow. Wow. What a neat building. This is visually very impressive. Also, box top. Here's another box top. I don't know what... <laughs> I like to think that the, the teddy bear bank that's keeping track of us is Fatty Bear without his overalls. But also, I'm a sucker for Fatty Bear, so... You have the details of, like, the bottom of the big part of the pyramid are the grain. <laughs> the doors are sli a slice of bread, which is cool. You've got the fruits and the veggies. You've got dairy, uh, protein. And I think at the top that's supposed to be snacks and sweets, but we can't really see that. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go inside. No, General, no! Hey, that carrot looks familiar. So as I can tell, I believe that Sam and the carrot are the only characters that appear in every Pajama Sam game. Alright, well let's follow after him. <laughs> it's a giant refrigerator door, which is funny. 